Greetings! Can you believe it's May already? Wow, this year is going fast. So I just wanted the opportunity to share with you what's been going on with the ministry of DC for Jesus. And I have to tell you a little bit of a story to make that happen. So about a year and a half ago, um, at McLean Bible Church, there was a transition, a move of the Holy Spirit um, for church planting. And Taylor and I ended up taking this course called Church Planting Threshold. Not because we thought we would be church planters, but we thought um, we would probably be supporting of church planters. Now fast forward a little bit. Um, last summer, the Lord started to move uh, in DC for Jesus and show us that we are the church. And the church is the body of Christ. And that we need to do the things that the church is supposed to do. Um, really carry each other's burdens and walk alongside one another. And out of that, we do works of compassion and we do evangelism, but we kind of had the cart before the horse. So since that point, we've really been learning and growing and it's been so exciting. The last two months, we have officially started a house church with the team and um, I'm going to call it a family. It's a church family. Um, many other people are coming from all different places around the world. And we're learning how to love each other and learning how to love each other through cultural barriers. And it's just so awesome. And I just want to read this passage because this is what it's like. Okay, so this is Acts 2, 42 through 47. And they devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and the fellowship, to the breaking of bread and the prayers. And awe came upon every soul, and many wonders and signs were being done through the apostles. And all who believed were together and had all things in common. And they were selling their possessions and belongings and distributing the proceeds to all and any, as any had need. And day by day, attending the temple together and breaking bread in their homes, they received their food with glad and generous hearts, praising God and having favor with all the people. And the Lord added to their number, day by day, those who are being saved. This is literally what's happening right now, and it's so exciting. I would love to share more of the details and the journey with you. Um, but as we do house church, the scripture that's really been on my heart is uh, John 10, 27, which is, My sheep hear my voice, I know them, and they follow me. And as I shared earlier in the year, the word that the Lord gave me was reflection, and just being still, and um, being with the Lord, being in the presence of the Lord, and this scripture really, this is it, just being in God's presence, and knowing that my sheep hear my voice, I know them, and they follow me. So I'm a sheep to the Great Shepherd and I hear his voice, and we do something that's called Church of Two. So we check in with each other, and we share our emotions, and we are vulnerable with one another, and it allows for us to not compartmentalize our lives, and then we end up listening to the Lord together for ourselves and for each other, and it's just so powerful, and we'll share more about that soon, but just that's what's called this Church of Two, and it's just been such a blessing. So I just praise God for what he's doing with DC for Jesus, what he's doing um, in my own heart, and um, just the people that he's leading us to, to minister to, and be vulnerable with, and just be the church. So thanks for listening. Looking forward to hopefully talking or seeing you soon. God bless you.